It could be. I yeah, it could be what you're saying. Mm hmm. I'm not sure what these are. Um, so this is version 3.2, which was just released to the test system. Oh. And this Kepler-186f is the first validated Earth-sized planet in the habitable zone of its star. It's the outermost of five planets to orbit a star that is smaller and cooler than the Sun. Uh, this planet orbits its star every 130 days, and so this places it in the habitable zone, where it's, it's in a region where it could have liquid water on its surface. So we now have one example of an Earth-sized planet in the habitable zone of a Nem dwarf. Um, this is exciting for us because of the hundreds of billions of stars in our galaxy, more than 70% of them are M dwarfs. So if we can say that planets like Kepler-186f are common, then we might be able to say that uh, Earth-sized planets and Hubble zones of stars in general are common. This planet Kepler-186f orbits a star that's cooler and dimmer than the Sun. So while we may have found a planet that's the same size as Earth and receives a similar amount of energy to what Earth receives, it orbits a very different star. So perhaps instead of an Earth twin, we've discovered an Earth cousin. This is one of the big uh, milestones that we've been looking for in our, in our attempts to find out if there are places just like home and if there's life out there. Um, one of the big steps is to say, is there somewhere that looks, to all intents and purposes, like Earth? Well, we don't know just yet, but we know that there are places that at least look similar. Five, four, three, Two engine start, one zero, and liftoff of the Delta II rocket with Kepler on a search for planets in some way like our own. Burnier engine chamber pressures are building. Groundlet solid motors are building in chamber pressure. <laughs> yeah, it could be. I, yeah, it could be what you're saying. To see if there's, I think they use the centroid plots to determine if. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure what these are. Mass versus the radius, but 